But I became an active Trump supporter when they raided Mar-a-Lago last summer, the summer of 2022. That, that, that's just, that can't stand. No, that can't. And that I was something. agree with Trump on a lot. But even if I disagreed with Trump on a lot, I'd still be a Trump supporter because you cannot allow that. You cannot allow the you know, the regime, the president of the United States to use the Justice Department to knock the front runner out of the race. You can't do that. No, you can't do that. So it's bigger than Trump. It's bigger than Biden. It's a question of, you know, do you want to live in a free country with a functioning justice system? You know, that's exactly. And right. so I'm voting for Trump. And if they convict him, I will send him the max donations and I will lead protests. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. Because, too. and by the way, if I thought that he had committed some real crime, I wouldn't feel that way, but he didn't. Mm -hmm. He and Biden are both found with classified documents at home, along with every other former high-level federal official in history, but only Trump is indicted? Like, tell me how that works. Oh, shut up. Yes, Tucker Carlson recently had an interview. He triggered the media again. When I checked Twitter recently, he's trending, according to this tweet, new Tucker Carlson vows to lead protests and send the maximum donations if Donald Trump is convicted. Mm -hmm. I'm voting for Trump and if they convict him, I will send him the maximum donations and I will lead protests. That is how I feel. By the way, if I thought that he had committed some real crime, I would not feel that way, but he didn't. That is according to Tucker Carson. I have a couple of videos I'm going to play so you can see exactly what is going on. If you remember, I put out a similar video where he sent warning that if they don't succeed to convict Trump, they might... What do you think the future holds? Is it... I don't know. I mean, are they going to let Trump be president? No, of course. I mean, look, if, uh, you know, they protested him, they called him names. He won anyway. They impeached him twice on ridiculous pretenses. They it, it, <laughs> fabricated a lot about what happened on January 6th in order to impeach him again. It didn't work. He came back. Then they indicted him. It didn't work. He became more popular. Then they indicted him three more times, and every single time his popularity rose. So if you begin with criticism, then you go to protest, then you go to impeachment, now you go to indictment, and none of them work, what's next? I mean, let, you know, graph it out, man. We're speeding toward assassination, obviously, and no one will say that, but I don't, I don't know how you can't reach that conclusion. You know what I mean? Like, they have decided, permanent Washington, both parties have decided that there's something about Trump that's, that's so threatening to them, they just can't have it. Of this call media attention, Libras are freaking out that Dr. Carson is jeering of Trump supporters to storm, destroy places, and they are keeping this clip, you know, to use it against him. That's exactly And right. so I'm voting for Trump. And if they convict him, I will send him the max donations and I will lead protests. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. Because, too. and by the way, if I thought that he had committed some real crime, I wouldn't feel that way, but he didn't. Mm -hmm. He and Biden are both found with classified documents at home along with every other former high level federal official in history, but only Trump is indicted. Like, tell me how that works. Oh, shut up. Well, it's just, yeah. It's... You felt, remember I sent you that video when you got fired about it was you and it was a guy with your hat head but he was tap dancing and he was getting thrown out and then he starts flying remember yeah. that do you feel I do like remember. you're flying well i was i mean i was not surprised i mean of course i was surprised i didn't expect to get you know my show canceled monday morning but um i wasn't if i took three steps back i was not surprised at all i mean mm -hmm. I was, first of all television's like that mm -hmm. people get fired there are all kinds of lines that no one will explain explicitly i'm a very literal person so i would Totally happy if, you know, from knowledge that just, just, I would always say, just write it down for me. Yeah. Oh, I can't say, just, can you just send me a text. I've got a bad memory. Yeah. That's what I say too. Oh, I can't, exactly. I can't be conservative on a conservative TV channel. Just, just write that down for me if you would, <laughs> just so I can have it as a reference point. <laughs> oh, well, you know, the lines. No, I, I really don't because I'm kind of stupid. So if you could just, um, but so I knew on a gut level, like I knew, um, they were very nice to me. I should say that and be clear about it. They were very nice to me the entire time I was there, but. I could feel that they strongly disagreed in the war in Ukraine stuff. 
Mm-hmm. Do you think that's what it was? I mean, I, I don't know. I'm just no. speculating, but they, they really didn't like that at all. The January 6th stuff, they really oh, didn't they hated like. That. I think we had a bunch of people quit over mm-hmm. that. And and mostly, I would say, mediocre. You know, like Chris Wallace should not be on television or Jonah Goldberg or so. You know what I mean? These are people who obviously. Yes. I believe if Tucker Carson was not fired on Fox News, there are a lot of things that he's actually saying now, boldly. We could not actually even see this aspect of him. He has actually opened up, you know, different interviews I've watched recently. He is saying things that are not allowed on Fox News, which to me is good. Tucker Carson being on Fox News, I actually did not know his turn when it concerns Trump now coming out to express his mind like, this is what I will do. This is the person I will vote for. It's impressive. I don't see any reason why we are picking up this talking point that Tucker Carson is jeering up Trump supporters to stop protests. I don't see any problem with this. He is just expressing his mind. If you say you want to stop or take all the donation to give him, it might just be maybe seeking funds, you know, to support Trump, which I don't even pray that anything should happen to him. People are misinterpreting this already. That is what I've seen, you know, through the tweet and the conversations going on, particularly to this interview, because I don't see that kind of, like, Tokakasi is that person that can really go on the street, you know, do some kind of things. He knows he's right and wrong. So him saying this is not like stirring up people to protest. It took me a very long time to actually be able to accept certain things. You know, talk, we talk a person. I used to look at him differently when I was not doing YouTube videos. But along the way, I actually looked deep his kind of stand on certain issues. When he says it, you really might not accept with him at that time. But as days goes by, you will see these things happening. I've seen this not once. Like, look at what happened in Ukraine when this issue happened, when they blow up the Nord Stream. Tokakam said it. He called out who is responsible. People said that is a conspiracy theory. But last month, I saw articles everywhere making it. was even New York Times. They published. I think it was the Washington Post. They published, actually bring out truth, what Tucker Carson said, accepting to what he previously said, which to me, that is how it should be done. You should speak the truth regardless of how people will feel because sometimes we have things to say, but because my neighbor will hear me say this, we will end up not saying anything. You are still not helping in a situation, so it is good for you to speak of in certain situations. Yeah. From your reporting, was this a blind side truly? Why was he ultimately let go? He was shocked, but he shouldn't have been shocked. Like, right. What is it with a certain kind of man, sorry, it's always men, <laughs> who think they can get away with this? They act invincible, yes. they act untouchable, yes. precisely to cover up their own vulnerability.